maybe score a few goals on the way. That would be nice. Come on. Come on, I've, I've got a good tally of uh, World Cup goals, so maybe adding to that might be quite nice. The last time I saw you, you were wearing those ski glasses in Trafalgar Square. That's a while ago, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've still got them there, sunglasses somewhere. Yeah, they were a whole look. Yeah, they were. They've been like, they're like an iconic look. I think, funny, at Halloween, I got tagged in a bunch of pictures of people dressing up as me, and that was the go-to look. Yeah, because this year is 10 years of you playing for England, right? Something, for, the, yeah. for the senior Something England like team? That, yeah. How does that feel? Oh yeah, it's, it's good. Um, I'm obviously one of the older players in the squad, but I don't feel it, my body feels great. But yeah, I think me and Jordan were talking about it the other day, like reminiscing about us being the youngest players and yeah, now we are the oldest fine. and it just, just goes just like that so quickly. But yeah, I'm still loving being here and, and having spent 10 years at England, I've got so many great memories. What were you like when you first came into the team then? Do you think you were kind of shy? Sure, and like shy, shy. Yeah. If anyone asks Farrah Williams, she's the one who always says, like, I don't think I heard Lucy speak for the first three years. Oh, no stop. One. Yeah, I was like painfully shy. I was so lucky when I came to England that Jordan, um, Jade Moore, Tony Duggan were already in the squad and they were my age group, so I kind of already had people that I That's knew. Nice. But I was petrified of the older lot, like, Farrah, <laughs> Kelly Smith, Rachel Yankee. I was like, oh my God, I'm playing with these, yeah. And look at the dynamic now. You're one of the most talkative. You're always good I know, there. yeah. <laughs> I've had to change. I've had to open, open myself up to the team. Um, but yeah, I think being in that position and then remembering how it felt when the older players came and spoke to me and, yeah. and made me feel comfortable. I think that's something that I've realized as I've got older. It's and your I, role now. Yeah, yeah, like I have to make sure that those players don't, I mean, they're always going to feel a bit, a bit nervous, but make sure they feel at home when they come into the England team. The legacy of the women's game has completely changed now, hasn't it? The public perception, so incredible. And the fact that you've been playing for England for 10 years, like where it started to where it is now, like try and summarise it, because it's, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? My first tournament for England was the Euros, and we didn't even get out of the group. I didn't play a single minute, and yeah, we, we got knocked out after three games, and then 10 years fast forward, and played every game and we, we won the Euros, we changed it like that. I remember Kelly Smith telling me at the Euros, she said it to me and Jordan, like, you're, you're the future of, of this England team. Oh, you make so sure nice. this never happens again. A massive year yeah. this year with the World Cup coming up. I mean, I've been going to tournaments for a number of years now and I think we've still been favourites for tournaments even yeah. without winning anything. We've had players who've been at the highest level, who've had that pressure um, going into tournaments where the, all the eyes are on on those players or on our team. We've had successful club teams. Um, so I think we've had that pressure in a different way. We've just not had the, the title to go alongside it. If anything, the pressure's a little bit easier because we actually know we can do that. Yeah, yeah. Like we know we can win things. We know that we can handle the pressure of playing in front of 90,000 people and all eyes are on us to win. We can do that. Whereas previously we've gone into tournaments as favourites without actually having won anything. <laughs> and Barcelona, are you feeling super settled there now? Yeah, uh, the, the language is coming along and obviously, yeah, the weather's fantastic. The girls are great. Um, what a city as well. Yeah, Love it's it. funny because my family have been to visit a lot, so I've been and done all the touristy things. And the girls who are from Barcelona have been there for 10 years or what have you, have not done a single thing. Um, I suppose you don't when it's on the doorstep, do you? And yeah. I was like, oh, I've been to Grada Familia, I've been to the Gaudi buildings, done this, done this. And they were like, we've never done that. And then now they're like, do you know what? We're going to do it. Oh, so I'm that. helping these uh, Catalonian girls get in touch with the, the, with, their the own with their own history. Yeah. Of, uh, so yeah, it's, it's been quite nice. What are your goals for this season then? Our goal is to keep winning. We're obviously on a, a really good run of form. Obviously the goal is to have some sort of success in the World Cup. Maybe score a few goals on the way, that would be nice. Come on. Come on, I've, I've got a good tally of uh, World Cup goals, so maybe adding to that might be quite nice. Yeah, that's big game different. player, that's it. Something different for a right back to aim for, some, yeah. some goals. Some serious goals. Some serious goals. Yeah. Uh, I'm really great to catch up with you, thanks Lucy. Thank you. Friends. 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 It's like a repeat. Repeat? Yeah, repeat. 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 Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. no, no. Repeat, 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 repeat. You do know when you stand there, you're very elegant.